Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a severe weather event that'll be taking place across the United States over the next three days that'll bring the risk for significant damaging winds, large to very large hail, and a few tornadoes. I'll give you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today. We'll first begin with the central plains and this is an area that we've already seen showers and storms this morning, some of which have been severe, associated with a mesoscale convective system that is moving off to the east, and that's currently located across parts of Missouri and as well as Arkansas, and that is why we are still seeing a little bit of damaging winds back through areas near the Mississippi Valley, and that'll continue to march to the east over the next few hours. It'll eventually weaken later today, but there will still be a chance for some damaging winds through the early afternoon hours. Back over in the Ohio Valley and as well as the Midwest, we are going to be watching this area very closely later today for the threat of a mesoscale convective vortex, which will help to increase the rotation in some supercells that could pose a tornado risk, especially for those in parts of Indiana as well as eastern Illinois. And we'll break down more on this later in this forecast. And I might go live for this later today, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell so you're notified if and when we do go live. And then further back to the north and east of all this activity is where we do have a trough that's sitting back up in southeast Canada. And what this is essentially doing is bringing a cool down to parts of the northeast and that's been ongoing for several days now upstate new york multiple days ago saw low temperatures down in the mid 30s which is extremely rare for this time of the year don't have that really anymore but there's still a little bit of cool air ushering in from that low pressure system but elsewhere the heat dome does continue we have relentless heat continuing across the southern tier of the united states record breaking high temperatures for many so unfortunately not a whole lot of relief is coming but there will be at least some relief if you're back down in the central plains and perhaps parts of the southern plains primarily for those in Oklahoma, and that would be due to the severe weather threat for today. In fact, there is currently an enhanced risk of severe weather that does include parts of Colorado, southern Kansas, and as well as northern Oklahoma, and even parts of the Texas Panhandle, which is fairly rare for this time of the year. We're in August. We don't see enhanced risks in Oklahoma very often, so one of the more rare type of severe weather events that we're seeing down in parts of the southern plains today. In addition to this, I don't want you to miss this, but there is a slight risk of severe weather back in Indiana and Illinois, and this doesn't look too concerning from the first look of things, but we are watching for the threat of an increased tornado risk. In addition to that, there is also an increased tornado risk back up in parts of South Dakota, as well as eastern Nebraska and western Iowa. Now, the main concerns for today in terms of severe weather will be damaging winds. Flying trampolines will be a possibility. We do currently have a moderate risk of that back in parts of the southern plains, so make sure you're hatching down trampolines or flip them over whichever works best for you there will be a chance for flying trampolines later today loose line items make sure you're bring those inside and protect plants and cover your vehicles because in addition to the damaging wind threat there's also a chance for significant hail as large as the size of apples and that does include parts of southwest kansas colorado and back through the oklahoma panhandle and i want to go back to the damaging wind threat for a second because the hatched area here that's in parts of oklahoma and as well as kansas does include the threat of damaging winds up to 85 miles per hour so you want to make sure that you're taking this seriously today there will be at least a isolated to maybe widely scattered chance of those damaging winds exceeding 75 miles per hour a more numerous threat of damaging winds at least exceeding 60 miles per hour so a lot of people will be seeing that damaging wind threat Yeah, not everybody will but those that do it could be rather significant in terms of the tornado risk for today we do have three areas to watch for one of which is going to be back where the main area of severe weather will be today which is actually in kansas colorado and oklahoma but back over into parts of iowa and as well even southwest Minnesota, eastern Nebraska, southeast South Dakota. We also have to monitor the threat for maybe a couple of tornadoes. And this will not be coming out of a mesoscale convective vortex. In fact, it'll actually be coming out of the low pressure system that's sitting back up here in parts of the northern and central plains from that low level jet that'll be cranking today. It'll be strong enough on the eastern side for there to be a potential for a couple of tornadoes. And then back over in parts of the Ohio Valley in the Midwest, this is our other tornado threat. And this will be associated with a mesoscale convective vortex posing all modes of severe weather but the main concern will be damaging winds with perhaps maybe a couple tornadoes for it's beginning with the timing back over in the midwest in the ohio valley there are storms out there already there will be more storms throughout the afternoon by two o'clock this afternoon there will be storm activity primarily centered between champaign and as well as indianapolis and this is going to be the hot spot here for the threat of a tornado or two today so again i might go live for this later today so make sure you subscribe down below and click the bell icon so you are notified if and when i go live but as we go throughout the afternoon 
afternoon closer to three to four o'clock storms will continue to move to the east it's gonna be a pretty short-term threat though this is not gonna last all day today it's gonna be only a few hours and the main concern will really be between i'd say two to six o'clock and that'll be across again eastern illinois and parts of western and southwestern indiana by five o'clock these storms will be moving toward indianapolis and as well as bloomington eventually by six to seven o'clock they continue to move to the east i wouldn't rule out an isolated tornado past six o'clock but it's gonna be a lower chance i would say overall in comparison to two to six o'clock today eventually by nine to ten o'clock these storms move to the east and overall there will be another chance for an isolated tornado or two tomorrow back over near ohio but again the threat tomorrow is lowering and we'll talk about more on what that looks like in just a second back over in the central and southern plains storms will fire up this afternoon around about four or five o'clock really primarily over in colorado it'll become more of an mcs most likely so these will be more of an organized line of storms producing mainly damaging winds and maybe some large hail out of a couple of discrete cells that end up popping up eventually getting closer to seven eight o'clock tonight these storms move to the east again they're not going to be fully widespread but they will be numerous so a lot of you will see storms if you're in kansas or oklahoma eventually getting closer to around midnight these storms move to the east damaging winds will be the main concern as these storms do all move to the east so if you're back over in oklahoma damaging winds is the main concern but large hail is definitely a concern with those initial storms back over in colorado southwest kansas and as well as the oklahoma panhandle and eventually by the morning hours there will still be some storm activity out there this around three or four in the morning but overall the severe weather action will be on the lower side of things by then then heading into sunday there's currently a fairly large area for severe weather and as of right now there is a slight risk of severe weather and that's going to include parts of the ohio valley and the dixie alley now the main concern for tomorrow will be damaging winds and perhaps a little bit of large hail but the large health concern right now is on the very low side of things it's going to be mainly damaging winds there is going to be a chance though for an isolated tornado risk and the main areas that we're watching one of which will be back over in parts of the midwest it's on the lower side of things right now it's not too concerning to have a tornado action plan in place just in case and have multiple ways to receive alerts and back over in parts of the northeast this is going to include really the eastern ohio valley that's where we're watching for another low end chance for a tornado and that would come out of that mesoscale convective vortex this over here would come out of the low pressure system that's going to be centered back over in parts of the midwest tomorrow but again this tornado threat i would say is on the lower side of things it's something to watch for make sure you're staying alert but i think it's going to stay on the lower side of things overall here's the timing for tomorrow right around lunchtime storms continue to move off to the east notice that band of storms back up in iowa that is what we'll be watching for that isolated tornado risk during the afternoon and perhaps going into the early evening hours eventually getting closer to three four o'clock storms moving off to the east and northeast this is our mesoscale convective vortex overall the storm activity there is going to remain a bit weaker isolated damaging winds the main concern but maybe an isolated tornado as well and then over here back in the midwest that's where we're watching for that tornado risk as well i wouldn't rule out this goes to a five percent probability on the tornado risk but again it's probably not going to be anything too crazy i would say back over in parts of the midwest eventually getting closer to seven to eight o'clock this turns into more of a damaging wind threat and this is where damaging winds will start to take over potentially scattered to numerous damaging winds between 60 to 75 miles per hour and eventually getting closer to about 9 10 o'clock those storms move to the east overnight these storms will continue to march toward ohio and that'll lead into our next threat of severe weather going into monday which is a very large area once again there is a marginal threat of severe weather from texas all the way back through parts of the northeast and that slight risk that includes a large chunk of the eastern tier of the united states and we'll talk about more on this in our next forecast so make sure you stay tuned thanks so much for watching make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already